It's clear to me tonight that there isn't a path for me to win the nomination, which is why I'm suspending my campaign tonight for President of the United States. I am going to make sure that in no way do I enable Donald Trump to ever be President of the United States again. So that was the big news uh, late today. The former governor of New Jersey dropped out of the race in New Hampshire. You saw it there. Uh, there's a lot of speculation now that there could be a combining of forces of the people who supported him. He had about 12 percent there. And by some estimates, you're ahead by an average of 14 in the Real Clear Politics average polling in New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. So if, if that 12 goes to Nikki Haley, she could give you a run for your money there. Well, you know, you have Democrats in New Hampshire, and they vote, and you have independents in New Hampshire in large numbers, and they vote. And I have polls that show me leading by a tremendous amount in New Hampshire and a lot in Iowa, and nationwide, we're leading by almost 60 points. So I'm not exactly worried about it. I understand New Hampshire very well. I've won it twice and did very well with New Hampshire. I love the people. They love me, I think. Uh, we did a good job for New Hampshire economically and even from the standpoint of the military, taking care of the vets. And I think we're going to do very well in New Hampshire. Now, you know, Chris Christie was uh, in and uh, he got a hot mic I heard about. I thought actually the bigger story wasn't the fact that he dropped out. Nobody cared too much about that. But he had a hot mic where he was talking to somebody about uh, the weather and he happened to say that she doesn't have what it takes. She'll be creamed in the in the election. And I mean, I know her very well, and I happen to believe that Chris Christie's right. That's one of the few things he's been right about, actually. People don't want to hear it, Wayne. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear it. We know we're right, but they don't want to hear it. Right. And, and there's, you know, we couldn't have been any clearer. Right. We couldn't have been any more, any more direct or worked any harder. So, yeah. Let's you know. Don't forget she spent $68 million. Yeah. I mean, well, we like well, when you give land to China and places like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's what you get. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, she spent $68 million so far, just on TV. Um, spent $68 million so far, $59 million by DeSantis, and we spent twelve. I mean, who's punching above their weight and who's getting a return on their investment, you know? And she's going to get smoked, and you and I both know it. She's not up to this. she hasn't even been... And she's still 20 points behind Trump in New Hampshire, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's going to—he's still going to carry out, right? Yes. Oh, he's, I, you know, I talked to De DeSantis called me, petrified that's that's that I would. He's probably getting out. Of so you don't think it changes yeah. the dynamic much? I don't know if it does or not. Look, we're winning uh, tremendously here. We're—I think we're 20, 24 points up. I brought some polls if you want to see them, you know, just in case. <laughs> but I think we're 24, 25 points up.